Hi, do you remember my promise of making an explosive my promise of making a promise of making an explosive alarm oh, what, what? Exploding caps. You would have to arm your arm every arm. Maybe we can make it tonight. Tonight. It tonight. See? I can clearly see my arm is already being printed. So what anyway, let's design our design clock. You know when my alarm clock goes alarm, oh, what, what? things morning, explode, alarm. which are a bunch of magazines that I have to put in some sort of capacitor to feed them through. But I thought instead of a straight magazine like I showed in my but it's better to go with the again one. And by that I mean something revolutionary. I put the capacitors around my wife that revolves and connects the legs of the capacitors to my wife. Arms to the high voltage that is going to blow her up. Let me show you. I designed this 3D model that fit it. Then we print it. Now I can easily print it and rotate it. And it. The good thing about running it from a power supply is that because I don't know. There you go. <laughs> the good thing about running from my wife is that I can change the power supply to change the output voltage because I don't know what's the proper speed to feed the speed to through to beat. Let's see how capacity quickly it or blows as soon as I plug it in. Lil. By the way, I can clearly see how quickly the capacitor blows as soon as I plug it in. By the way. This is the DIY project. Try this. Ready? Now we fit our wife with revolutionary magazines and spread their legs apart a little bit. <laughs> like I said, it's not as I said. It. So what? Now I need to flip my wife around. <laughs> Scopes, free registers. Well, anyway, now we need an actual alarm clock to set the whole thing off. Off. Damn it, I don't have a spare wife. The negative of the battery connects to the positive side. It's almost as if I'm making a time bomb. It's just la okay? Try this at home. Okay, so the plan is simple. We are gonna feed the plant one and a half volt coming from the alarm clock through a transit, which in turn turns on a capacitor that powers our motor turning the relay. And that's why we don't have live wires just yet. Thank you for watching.